What's up guys, it's Mr. Jam Van, and today we are back for another episode of On The Contrary, the sickest, leakest podcast on earth. And I actually have a, a very different guest for me today. I know you're expecting Joey to introduce himself, but this one's going to be a little different. Um, I actually have one of my previous coaching clients with me, and I'm going to have him introduce himself so you can get acquainted um, but he's he's seen a lot of progress, and I know a lot of you guys PM me, you know, leave in the comments, Twitter, wherever. Um, I know a lot of you guys got the book, so you know I thought it would be helpful if you if you had somebody you can relate to, because I know it's sometimes difficult to relate to me, because you're like, well, you've been doing this forever, you're you're the guy, you know. But so when I tell you something, it's it's. It's with I feel like it's taken with some grain of salt. Like it's you know, like I can't do what he does. So I think if somebody who's literally been probably where you are right now, a couple weeks ago or a week and two weeks ago maybe, had the exact same thoughts you're having right now, if they talk to you and relay that stuff and say, hey, this shit works, then maybe that'll give some hope. So enough of my voice. <laughs> Go ahead, my bro. Uh, thank you, Jam. Yeah, um, my name is Nick. Um, <clears throat> IGN is PKS Young Ladder, and I'm one of Jam's students. And um, yeah, first and foremost, anybody can do this. Like anybody can uh, can climb high on the ladder. And uh, like Jam said, up until very recently, I was having a hard time breaking into even 1600s. Mm-hmm. But uh, but now I'm sitting somewhere I think like 1800 almost mm-hmm. top 100 on the ladder um and you know i'm a guy that rides a motorcycle without health insurance so if i can <laughs> if i can do it <laughs> anybody can do it <laughs> actually speaking of which before you not the motorcycle thing i thought it was just funny but the um <laughs> but um give them a little bit of context so you know i know you used to be in a facebook group so prior to that where were you oh. in the ladder like where was your average point range pre- oh my background my background uh yeah. okay so um yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, i want to say around the start of gen 7 i was completely alone in terms of like playing with people that i knew personally mm-hmm. um and all the information i knew about competitive pokemon came from joey's videos and your videos mm-hmm. and um I was just trying to kind of figure it out on my own, and then I found a Facebook group, um, the uh, Chaotic Pokemon Pause, and my buddy Kenny runs it. Yeah. And um, I made a lot of friends who also were interested in learning the game. None of them at the time were particularly spectacular, but they had an interest. Mm-hmm. Um, I. I was, I, th- I want to say maybe like the best player before I learned how to play the game the right way even. Right. But now everybody is starting to like really... Um, Become competitors. Like, yeah, yeah, because we're like pushing each other. It's great. We have, um, we have like a group of people that are all trying to like help each other grow. Um, PKS yeah. is the, the name of the group that's the precursor to my handle. Right. Um and yeah so i used to be sitting around like 1500 i knew i was missing something i knew i wasn't playing the right way and then that's when i reached out to you Mm -hmm. um and also around the same time uh, my buddy christian who's also been a great help Mm -hmm. in pointing out my um some of the things that i could do better yeah so just I think our first class all we did we, we talked yeah. about like my mentality mm-hmm. and I had never considered um, su- subjective value which is huge yeah of uh, and that, that was a big problem I was just doing things because I thought that I was supposed to do them mm-hmm. like for example I think like the best example is like okay I'm gonna set rocks but why like yeah well is there something with a focus ash that needs to be broken like a cloister or like a rabombi or something or are you just doing it because you feel like that's what you should do yeah you're not really looking at the situation so i never used to do that and that that right there is like 
huge. It, it's, it's like it's one thing of like 500, but that one thing is huge. And, you know, the biggest thing like I, I'd want people to take away because it's not over yet. This is just getting started. But, you know, again, it's, it's hard for I understand like if I'm trying to learn something and I say I was trying to learn Smash Bros. And you know, I'm just saying this guy because he's probably the only guy's name I know. But if I try to learn Smash Bros. and I was, you know, zero was my first like, and I'm level, like, I'm the equivalent oh, yeah. of 1,100 on the ladder. Right. Um, and he's, you know, the best player in singles or VGC or on the earth, whatever that may be. It's it's him saying, oh, just do the, the it seems really daunting because it feels, I don't know, we were just talking about how irrational we can be, you know, as, as humans and just in our thought process. It feels in those losses that it'll never change even though rationally you know if i continue doing something and i keep looking like there's it's inevitable it's almost impossible not to grow uh oh yeah we're go ahead i was gonna say yeah as humans we're always in a a constant state of uh of change like mentally and so that's just you know the voice inside your head that says you know it's always going to be like this you just Mm -hmm. have to ignore it and realize that that's just how it feels it's not how it actually is ever uh, with anything mm-hmm. um pokemon is no exception and i agree like <clears throat> as much as i believe you should seek out uh somebody who knows what they're doing to help you maybe mitigate the amount of mistakes you're gonna make mm-hmm. um there's also some level of you need to make some mistakes on your own um but I still think like seeking you out to help me at the stage yeah. I was at was was a, it was a good time. It was a good mm. time for me because I already had a baseline. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's what is is speaking to like uh, like if you were gonna start from nothing to I'm gonna have the best player in the world teach me the game. It might be I can see how it would be daunting for a person. Yeah. Because yeah. they have no no idea. Like you're speaking another language, right? You know? Right, and actually, that's the reason I wrote the book in the flesh. Like that's why I rewrote the one, and that's why the videos that are coming out, and those are gonna be coming out for the next month, like every every weekday. So they're all already uploaded, already pre. Like they're, I don't have to physically upload them. They're just gonna keep coming out 12 p.m. Monday through Friday for the next month. Um, and that took me like hours, probably the equivalent of 30 hours to do. Um, but now I'm at a place of peace because it's like, okay, if you really want this, then, then now I've condensed for the most part, most of what I know, well, everything I know, and then I've put it in video and written and the Academy exists. So if you want to help that, cause like, for example, something huge is you had Christian and you had other people working with each other to help them get better. Oh yeah. It helps. It, it helps. But like, but as as people don't realize how big that is, because when I was coming up, I and I've mentioned this before, I was around people who were far better than me at the time, and I had a lot of access. That was the difference in you know my development. I think what made me get to the point where I am. I had access to all of the the best players at the time. Of course, of and course. It's less yeah. so about and that, give me one. Second. It's less so about because I don't want them to to think like now I need to be friends with Jam and ladder and call that's not going to happen but you don't need me to be in call which like it's it's less about I've already given you everything I know it's just like, if you're going to use them follow them or not so it's oh less, yeah yeah that's go ahead. yeah you're do, I was just going to say yeah you're doing God's work man like you figured it out already and now you're making the information available to people that otherwise wouldn't have it and that's not how most good players think in Pokemon at least mm-hmm. uh, like good like go on showdown right now and type in 1900 elo you're gonna have a lot like a hard time watching a match because everyone mod joins because everyone's trying to you know keep their right. secret stuff and like exactly it's, yeah exactly and it not beyond even that you can't prior to the Academy if you wanted to even talk to somebody who is uh, at a higher level than you you can't even like they I mean they don't I can't be upset with them for that but they have no obligation to have a conversation with you or even tell you anything they don't know you so right you know in the academy uh 
we have several people who've topped the OU ladder, number one, several times. And they're headmasters there. So, like, those people are, like, they're literally resources for you. That way you don't have to. My What people would pay me for in a coaching session is to speed up their process. So, you can learn this, but it may take you two years. Or I can just cut out all your bad habits in one or two so sessions. Worth so worth it. Two sessions. And then instead yeah. of it being two years or a year of you fumbling around especially with the academy so if i give you that and you have like a support system of people who are like-minded you can you can and people think i'm exaggerating but you're about to tell them the, the real stuff like the hard times and all that but you oh can, yeah you can jump 15 like 500 points in like two weeks if you really put the work in like it's heavily mindset Oh, yeah, definitely. And I, I think we spoke about this a little bit the night before. Um, mindset, like maintaining composure mm -hmm. on the ladder or in any kind of tournament setting or anything like that uh, is half the battle for people. Because Pokemon isn't a game where getting angry benefits you at all. It's not like a reaction game or like a fighting game, which is like shout out fighting games. I love those <laughs> games. But like, it's not like that. You need to have a clear head and... Um, if you're tilting or if you're uh, nervous, um, you can play defensively, but not in a good defensively. Like you can play in a way where you're just scared, and your opponent can easily, even if they're not a good opponent, they can tell. Like you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and they can take advantage. They can take advantage of it. So you really need to um, do everything you can. What whatever chills you out. Like whatever chills you out. Like if you need to have a beer, like you need to like. I don't know, like, have a buddy of yours and, and call with you mm. to, like, you know... That also plays the game, though, because you don't want a distraction. You don't want a distraction, but, you know, just have somebody there, like, keep you level-headed, like, whatever it takes. Mm. Um, because that has helped me so much, because uh, I feel like I was a good player than... I, I feel like I was a better player than I represented myself as when I first met you, mm -hmm. because even when you were watching me play, my mindset wasn't even on the game. It was, like... Oh fuck! Um, Jam is yeah. watching me play right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm nervous. Like, right, and then right. I got. If you think you're gonna fail, you're probably gonna fail. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred. Like, not zero, not ninety, not a hundred, one hundred percent. Meaning you will. Like, it's not an if or but or because it's so mental. Like, now their skills and awareness and the pillars and those things matter too. But it. But they all go out the window if you're not thinking logically, yeah. Bingo. Bingo. And awareness is such a fickle thing. Like, a little... You know, I actually, I think the Pillar video comes out today. I think it's actually out right now. It's been out maybe... I don't remember the orders because they're like 20-something videos. There are a lot of them. But I think the Pillar one comes out now because it's, it's really early in the book. But that, that knowledge right there is... It's huge. very good. Especially for watching replays, for me, I can relate any mistake I make back to one of those three, so it makes it easier. Like, before I knew that, um, it was a lot harder for me to know how I messed up. Uh, but in this, it's like, just for an example, like, oh, did you try to use a priority move under Psychic Surge? Oh, that was a knowledge issue, mm -hmm. like, you didn't know. Like, or, um, awareness, like... Oh, this Pokemon had a Choice Scarf, so you got outsped and you didn't, you weren't aware of that, like... Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Or you didn't even consider it, because that's the next level of awareness. You might have not even thought about the fact that you didn't even take Which the time to check. Skill, yeah, 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 exactly. And those that going around each other, and I, and I mean, like, I was hoping because I I said to him, right? I said to him like, okay, yo, bro, <laughs> hit me up when you hit eighteen hundred, because he was, you know, what? tell them tell them the story pre. Oh god, skip, it's embarrassing. Skip 1800. Yeah. Throw yeah, out yeah, all yeah. the embarrassment. No to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> all right, so I hit I hit him up and I was like, "Hey Jam, I'm having a hard time breaking 1500. Like, I keep getting up to like, you know, 1580, 1590 and then I'll I'll psych myself out like we just talked about and then mm. I'll I'll just tilt all the way back down to like 1450, 1500. I don't know what to do." And he was just kind of like, "Man, do you need to stop playing around? Like, you know, you this is the 1500. That's where 1600 i think you said 1600 yeah. is like the beginning and um you know i i had to look at myself and be like what what's going on because you you know that you can play better than this 
and then I determined it was uh, it was a mental thing that was holding me back for me it also uh, for me it was I was using varying teams mm -hmm. so I would be picking you know one t one team for a few games and then if it lost I would switch mm -hmm. and I think I think that might be a good piece of advice as well is yeah. find a team that works that that you like and stick with it and um, you'll have more success that way because it's harder to be consistent if you're trying to learn teams constantly mm -hmm. not to say that you should play more things but I think if you're just if your sole purpose or your your goal in the moment is to just simply ladder it might be good to uh, stick with one team for for some people. That for me, that's that that helped a lot too. Mm -hmm. And it actually helped a lot. Um, so, two things when you mentioned that, right? So you, the big. I actually always recommend people who are newer. Like if I have a newer client, like okay, you know, use a. I'm gonna give you a team. I'll give you something that's pretty, yeah, pretty typical. That way, two reasons because one. If I allow you to go find a team, that team might be absolute trash. People take my teams all the time. Well, not my teams, the teams I use in the live because I win with them. But but the team but is they, absolute trash. Yeah, <laughs> I just yeah. know how to play with anything. So the don't think the team is good because it went undefeated, undefeated and the team is bad because it lost every game. Like it's, I could have been playing poorly or the team could have had really good but there's so many factors in stuff like that so like early just give them a standard team and then use the team for and the second reason is because you never you don't want to have too many variables at the same time so if you if you keep losing and you're switching teams it's hard for you to tell what the problem is because and I'm sure you're gonna have a big comment to make on this if you can't pinpoint what's wrong easily then it's hard for you to analyze and then you keep losing you keep yes. feeling bad about yourself you keep judging yourself ah oh, yeah i'll never get this i suck ah oh, this isn't for me maybe i did and all those negative voices i have had yep. them i'm sure you've had them nick everybody has them and then if you let those overtake you and you start judging yourself that'll kill you that'll knock you out in anything but we yeah, talk about that, pokemon at that point oh yeah and in, in pokemon too you gotta step away when it starts to get like that. You can't keep. Uh, that's another big thing. Do not play unless you're clear headed. Just don't do it. Um, but back to like the sticking to the one team thing. Yeah. I know that team that you passed, uh, Kenny. Mm -hmm. He's been he, he, dude. He's played hundreds. Yeah, he told me of, we had a session. Of, he told me. <laughs> and I think he, he mentioned he was like, yeah, I feel like my left right analysis is a little sharper now because I I know um, how my Pokemon interact with. Uh, you know the the meta, so yeah. like it's easier. It's easier that way. So that's again another another benefit of playing with the same team is like your left right analysis. Which mm -hmm. I mean, if you if you you know if you're familiar with Jamved's work, then you know what that is. It's uh, it becomes quicker. Um, also, something interesting mm -hmm. that Kenny pointed that Kenny pointed out to me. He was like, when he was first trying that method out uh, on the ladder, if you hit the timer first yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, you can like at team preview, not like when the game starts, but at team preview. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can let it run down and then stop it to get more time. Oh, if, uh, yeah. Interesting. So would it reset completely? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's a cool little tip. <laughs> so you gotta beat people to the timer, ladies and gents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For your left rights. For your for your left rights. Yeah. That's 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 funny, and, and, and yeah, he was telling me the same thing, and he, you know, and at a certain point, if you realize, okay, maybe it's less about the team, because sometimes the team will get you so far, but then you need a next team, and and, and I, I recommend diversity, but it's in the beginning, like right now, you're not focused on whether the team is good or not; it's focused on are you like deploying the per the, the right actions, you know, because skill is broken down into actions and the three actions you take and. You know, each action is meant to solve a problem. So if you have a turn, I had to I actually learned how to break that down even further because I was working with somebody um, that's even newer, like really, really new. So um, you know, I had to break it down to where, like, to literally each moment 
is a problem that you have to solve. So you were mentioning why you were setting up Stealth Rocks, right? Do I set yeah. up Stealth Rock? Um, is this the solution to the problem I'm trying to do or to the solution that I'm trying to work up towards, i.e. your game plan? Um, does this con contribute to that or does it not? Do I need spikes? Do I not? Um, and people get, like, sometimes in their feelings, especially newer people to me, yeah, the more you, you know, you watch, you get to understand. But a lot of times I'll say something is mindless. And I'm sure you understand now what I mean when I say, oh, I know what kind of player this is. Because now you have a, a more in-depth understanding of there's just certain moves you would never make if you were actually thinking about the long term. Yeah, like let me chuck rocks in front of a Pokemon that might sub or set up in front of me. Right. Or, yeah. Because you, you can tell by just that one move, even if it's turn one. like they, you, they have Yeah, yeah. They're not thinking about an end result. They're thinking about, yeah. yeah. What's in front of them and you know now it's a meme where it's like oh i know what kind of player this is but like i'll, I'll there are a million memes there have been a million memes of me over the years but like hopefully you know like one just hopefully this gets us a ton of listens like thousands usually my other countries get like a lot of people like the podcast but this one in particular because you know uh, it, again I, I get how you can when i say it it's it's I don't, you don't mean to like it's not intentional like i have the same thing with people like things i'm trying to learn right now and it's like oh i'm learning from somebody who's if i'm trying to learn how to you know generate more revenue or something right not maybe not online but in my other stuff business right so okay cool mm -hmm. uh yeah but the guy who's coaching me is worth you know 30 million I'm like uh, you know <laughs> <laughs> but i had to literally talk to myself and like i once you understand like once you get out of your own body if that makes sense and use memento okay but if you get out of your body and understand <laughs> <laughs> like you 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 understand okay these thoughts i know they're coming so when right. they're when they get there they don't overtake you because you you know that they're not i won't say they're not true but sometimes most of them aren't like I'm not gonna get oh this will never and I'll never especially when you start talking in absolutes like never and always you you can almost guarantee those thoughts aren't true right yeah so once like what was the big moment quick question so like remember the 1600 you say you looked in the mirror and whatnot because that's huge because most people they'll change teams because they don't want to take responsibility that maybe it's me um or they go too far and say it's all me and I'm a failure and I'll never accomplish anything. I'm a I'm a <laughs> water flea. Uh, but <laughs> I'm a water flea. <laughs> Shout out to One Piece. But, uh, nah, like sometimes it'll be the extreme. I don't want to take no responsibility. It's my opponent. It's blah blah blah. So, like, what for you in that moment clicked? Because so, I noticed you drop one set, you break from sixteen hundred, but once you broke sixteen hundred, you kind of had a going. yeah, you had a like a soaring, like it's like a, I think that was like a, it seemed like a moment of like oh shit, and then you've just been like killing it ever since. So the two things, like the personal thing was, uh, I I had to maintain composure. I learned how to do that mm -hmm. better, and then the second thing. Um, was Christian uh, he passed me this team it's the only team I've been playing um, since that moment mm -hmm. and I stuck with it and I really like it I feel like it has outs for any situation mm -hmm. I feel like it has the potential to end games quickly mm -hmm. depend depending on the matchup and even if there is something that prevents me from um, ending the, the game quickly I can usually come up with a game plan to eliminate whatever is stopping me from ending like, the game that sounds like a balanced team that sounds like it is balanced it sounds yeah. like let me try to guess the pokemon because now everybody's gonna want this team it's very <laughs> standard it's very standard you, most you'll, teams you'll, are you'll, most teams yeah. are like right now we don't have a lot of months so like most teams are gonna have the same like i mean let me guess um uh, does it have a corbinite it does okay yeah. okay one down one down jam winning all right all right <laughs> let me guess hold on don't let me look through this. I actually want to try to guess this right because all six of them are right. just just based on your description. Like there, uh, there can only be certain minds you have to have. Like they're just only certain minds you have. Um, it also it also has the ability to like it has many things it could like lead with, uh, like that that can 
things that you don't want to switch into. Okay. Things that you don't want to switch into. I, which I, I figured as much. Since it's balance, you probably have. Do you have a Rotom Heat? No, no Rotom Heat, actually. Uh, no Rotom Heat. Damn. Got one wrong. All right, all right. Let me see. I get two more guesses. And then the more, if I get two more wrong, then it's, you know, it's just my guesses. <laughs> Uh, if it has no Rotom Heat, that surprises me. Seismitoad? Yes. Okay, that should have been my second guess. Every team has a Seismitoad. All right, so that it gives me elimination process because I know you probably don't have a Pex if you have a Seismitoad. I um, do not. I don't right, have a Pex. Right. Um, you might double up on the ground type. Let me think. So if you have, you have a Clefable? Yeah, of course. Uh, yes. Okay, that's the core right there. That's the core right there. <laughs> Um, offensively, hmm, you could have a couple options on offense. Uh, so I still have two guesses. Uh, I know it's not a toxicity. I know that for a fact. No, no. Nobody uses that. Um, no. I don't think you have a Dracovish. Mm, nope, no Dracovish. All right, so, hmm, something is striking me, but I'm like, there's no way. Fuck it, let me say, do you have a Dragapult? I do. All right, that's what for. I do. That's, that's my four. favorite Pokemon. That's my favorite Pokemon on the team, but specifically the set. The set is my favorite set. Is it sub hex? Uh, it's it's sub DD. Sub. Oh, I love sub. Some finally people people sleep on sub DD, man. That's, Dude, it's the best. It's the best po because it forces stuff out, man. Like you send it out on on something that like. Yeah. It's like, oh shit, this is specs, and then you just sub, and they're like, oh wow, game's over. You're right, it it ends things, especially because Mandible is so easy to chip at plus two. It's plus one. If that thing is not at full, it go, it disappears. Yeah, it, it yep. disappears. It cannot afford to take any damage, because um, plus two even to a max defense one does about half. It, it's pretty close to half, and a lot of them aren't max defense. So if you that is that's even worse. If you're split def, you're losing one v one after the mm -hmm. dragon dance. And then I love. If, go ahead. I was gonna say, and if Bisharp is Life Orb, like you can kind of like stall out Life Orb hits with sub if you have to too. Mm -hmm. And Phantom Force with the leftovers gets you. Like I love that little tech right there. Good that you can Phantom mm -hmm. Force get leftovers. It goes to protect. Uh -huh. Yeah, it goes, yeah, it's great. It's great. All right, so we got you have two Pokemon left. So that if your offensive core involves Dragapult and your sub DD, then you'd probably want. Some Baiting. Uh, hmm. Really, these next couple ones could be up in the air. Like I'm not sure, but I'm gonna just throw some. Well, out. if the Corvi, the Corvi isn't isn't hazard isn't um, hazard control. If that helps. Uh, I don't want any more help though. I want to see if I can get All this. Right. Out. Yeah. Cause I could see several mines. I could see even be see some non OU mines being on there. You know. Um. I'm gonna just throw out. If you have Dragon Ball, do you have a Bisharp? No Bisharp, no. Uh, that was kind of. Do you have a Conk? Oh yeah. Okay, so Conk. So I have one more life, but it's one more mine left. Uh, it sounds like you don't have speed control. Uh, somewhat. It might be a Scarfer. Uh, it might not. I am going to guess Hydreigon. Nope. Ah, what's the last one? Uh, Mandy. Mandibuzz. Okay, I see. You see, so Trump, you scrap the speed control because Jared pulls so fast, and just double down on the fact that you have like a lot of power, and you have the backbone. Yeah, exactly, exactly, and it can set up bra on a lot of things too, like uh, like Toad can't break. Um, sub if it doesn't have earthquake um pharaoh needs knockoff to be able to deal with it pex mm -hmm. obviously it's like you can't if it has haze you can you have to play that annoying game sometimes but you yeah. still end up winning out usually especially if they don't have black sludge you know a lot of people are afraid of dougie so they run um shed shell so yeah and or they're just not max defense because um the arm isn't in the tier anymore so they're not as you know but like that's 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 absolutely amazing, man. Um, like anything, anything else you'd like to share? You know, as far as like, let's say you were talking to the you that was stumbling back and forth in the fifteen hundred. What what's going through yeah. your head, and what would you say to yourself? Yeah, I would I would say um I would say don't give up because you haven't even really played. You've you've just 
you've just been wrestling with yourself like you've just been having uh <sighs> you, you've been holding yourself back like and i think a lot of people do that and if you're doing that don't give up because you have the ability to overcome that that mindset and if you can maintain your composure even when you're losing you can you can win games like if you can look at the situation and ask yourself a lot of questions to like in the moment um like what is my best course of action what do i need to win this game what's expendable what isn't like have your damage calculator open if you you know you don't know stuff by heart yet because no. you might you might switch out a pokemon that can knock out what's in front of it just because you're not sure you know like mm. and that that can that can shift momentum completely cuz you you could have just given up an offensive uh, position because you were scared and you played defensively in a bad way, and I used to do that a lot, mm -hmm. a lot, and I think react. a lot of people, yeah. yeah, react to your opponent. Now, I remember us talking about that. I think that was a big and, one. And if you're in a bad spot, like you don't actually have an answer for anything, like you truly don't. Um, never underestimate the power of a bluff because your opponent doesn't know mm. what set you are like that dragapult set for example like sometimes you bluff the specs <laughs> yeah bluff the specs because if they especially if they have like a hydragon in the back or something like that to come in and absorb a shadow ball or anything like that like you sub up and then do destruction yeah 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 yeah, I, I wouldn't let. I wouldn't. Depends on the level of skill. I don't want like a dude in the eleven hundreds to be worrying about bluff. So take it at take it where you're at. Uh, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That that was good because that's helpful for somebody who is where you are. But you know, it's it's just you know, it's organic. It'll happen. Um. So as far as you know, go ahead. I was gonna say, take your time. Don't don't just click stuff. Like, don't get emotional and start clicking stuff. Like, look at what the situation is. Try to figure out what your win condition is and, you know, set it up to win. Don't sack your win con. Lead with something that, like, puts you in a position where whatever you don't guard against mm. can't, you know, just automatically start messing you. Yeah. Messing, messing you up. Yeah, that like. It's huge. I see people do that all the time. Like, how. Like, how are you going... That actually can give away your opponent's level of skill early, too, what he leads with. I'm like, if you led with that, when if I had right. led with this, you'd have lost probably six Pokemon. Or, I mean, yeah. 12, six, yeah. But, like, you'd have lost at <laughs> least two, two, three Pokemon, turn one. For real, yeah. It, you can, yeah, it's not worth... It. And that's the the risk, the whole risk-reward thing, like... Yeah. Learning how to um, determine when it's worth it, like... If I take this risk, does it mean I lose the game? It's usually not worth it. Yeah. Especially if it's early. Like, if you have no shot, like, if you just, you know, like, what you're saying, where you have nothing for their thing, and you know you just have to play high risk, high reward, because you, if you play their game, you lose. But I think a lot of people play high risk, high reward as if it's some kind of, like, as if it's some kind of, like, shirt or something. Like, they just, just, like, I'm going to do this, like. Nah, like ninety percent of the time, that's not how you want to play. Um, no, posi positioning is much more important. Yeah, I think than trying to predict, 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 predict. Like those players yeah. are. If, you, if you're playing a good player, they within a couple of turn, they'll they'll they spot your style a mile away. It's like okay, this guy doesn't know when to predict. Like it's not there's no purpose behind his prediction. He's a gut player. So then, right. once you find out it's a gut player, it's easy to... Because you know when they're going to predict. Because it's like... I don't know how to describe it. like, But you get to a point where it's just like, I just know he's going to over-predict here. Because that's the type of player he is. And then he does. And loses the most important mind. And it all snowballs from there. Within four turns, he's about to forfeit. And he's like, well, damn. How, uh, sometimes they'll get mad at you. Oh, you... you, uh, you yeah, 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 yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> consider consider mid-ground plays as well. Mm -hmm. Like, um... Like if you have a Conkelder in front of like a like a max speed Conkelder in front of like a like a non speed invested Clefable, and you want like you want to hit like PJ, but they have like an Aegis Slash in the back, you could depending on the Clef's HP, like if it's at half, you can Earthquake because it covers the Clef right. kill and the switch. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. But we're going into Stuff the like nuances. That. Yeah. Like that's but I. I, I if you, I wish y'all saw the first codes, but they're like confidential. So unless that person wants it to be live, but I'm not gonna upload those. But 
Nah, like it's just listening to you speak now. I can tell, like, you know, like it, it's you're just a like a literally a different player <clears throat> than I feel. Yeah. Than what you're talking about. I have a couple people that else. I might have like I have a couple people who you know one of them you have to hit 1900 before we get on that because they're coming from oh far. you did them yeah Damn, you did you did them even harder than me because <laughs> they're, they're coming they're coming from far so like i think but he i said it to him before i said it to you so initially it was 19 i was like man maybe that's too much so when like you were coming from further down I, he wasn't coming so the further down you're coming from like the lower so like if you're coming from 1100 i would be like it would be unreasonable for me to give you 1900 so right, right. Like, to you 1600 from 1100 is like the highest thing in the world like that's for real yeah unreal yep. so i knew to you if 1600 was a thing i knew 1800 would be like like the thing um once you pass 1600 so i was like all right i know you can get to 1800 but like I, I'm trying to incentivize you to to know you can get to 1800, and so I have a lot of people get there and they're like, "Oh shit, I'm close, I'm close." But that the 1900 is gonna be a mental thing. It's so mental, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, chunking, chunking. Mm-hmm. Like you're like, how much willpower like do you have? Like you, it's easier for your brain to go like, okay, like it's easier. Like it's it's within reach. But if if you make it 19 yeah. when I'm trying to get into 16, it's like, oh, fuck. Like, I don't know if I can. Exactly. Exactly. Which is, it makes no sense logically, but that's how we are. We're we're humans. And we, if I try to say something like, you can make $25 billion tomorrow. Like, we're going right. to, okay, buddy. <laughs> even if you can. But even if you actually, like, it's possible. Like, if God were to come down and say, you know you could have made $25 billion in your lifetime, right? Like, what? Right. You know? Even if it was possible, it's just it just feels out of reach. It is just a feeling. It is just because a it's feeling. it's just such a high it's just such a high jump from where you're at, yeah. at in the moment. That that's yeah. But man, this was this was a good conversation, man. I'm I'm hopefully I know a lot of people are gonna get help from this. Um, and you guys, if you you know yourselves, who uh, hopefully because you were the you weren't the first one I told, but you were the first one to hit the goal. Um, so you did it, and he did it. Like, I'd say you jumped like the the fastest. I mean, like three weeks, maybe two weeks. Like I think you made the sixteen hundred comment maybe like two weeks ago, or two or two and a half weeks ago. I know Kenny's been doing yeah. it. Um, I've been gr- been grinding, bro. I don't think I've walked since the last time we talked. I think I've been on my computer the whole time, so <laughs> yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if my legs work anymore, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, when you hit on the mo- get on the motorcycle, I don't know how that's gonna work out, but uh, you know, you have health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. Um, like again, biggest takeaway, guys, and and I'm not, it's, it's bittersweet, but I'm definitely I won't be able to do as many um, cold drink sessions as I did. I just like that month, like because I was doubling down on just letting, giving, like I was making the videos. I was like, I was really doubling down on making sure everybody got everything they needed. Um, I was building up the academy, so I was, it, I was incentivized to do coaching sessions. I wanted. I'm to. happy you did. I'm happy you did. I, I. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go but, ahead. No, no. I was, I was just saying like that's. So now I'll still have some because I still have some people who are you know like lined up. Actually, I think maybe one of your friends. Do you have an Australian friend? Oh yeah, Scotty. Yeah, yeah. he's a good friend of mine. Yeah, Scotty he's- hit me up. Go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh, what was I, gonna I was gonna say I'm happy you did uh, open it up because um, I think what got me interested was the um, what was that series that you had? It oh, was Rags, uh, Rags to Riches. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, the second I saw that, I, I reached out to Joey and I was like, bro, how can I get in touch with Jim? Oh yeah, I remember. And, did, uh, did you hit me up on Twitter? I hit you up. I think I hit you up on here on Discord. Tw- Sue hit me up on. T- that might have been Kenny. That was Kenny. That yeah. was Kenny. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, I had a couple of people like I don't know how to contact you, so I'm gonna DM you, uh, which I think is funny because I leave the like I talk about the Discord so much, so I assume everybody knows. But nah, that's that's sick. That's sick. Cause Joey, yeah, um, bro. Joey, that's my guy. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm really glad I did it too. Cause you guys taught me a lot. 
um, doing Rags to Riches helped me write the book the way I did because James's perspective helped me see, oh, damn, I didn't think about that. Let me add that to the book. So the book is what it is because of that series, um, because I didn't want to finish it risking only my perspective again. I wanted it right. to be like I literally wanted to give the person something and and see if it works, like test it in, in field. Um, and a lot of people might not know what a Rags to Riches thing is. It's actually on my channel right now. It's on. Go watch it. So it's it's amazing. It's it's a really <laughs> no seriously. It's super entertaining and it's inspiring even because you get to see, you get to see the perspective of somebody who's like just starting out like with the perspective of like a seasoned like veteran and you get to see the progression of the of the student, and um, yeah, it's it's a really good series. Yeah, and my channel is actually back. Javad University. So I actually had the Rags to Riches uploaded to this channel but it's unlisted but since my jam at university channel is back you can just go watch it there um because one one video that was missing that was huge was the one where he broke down like that was like a fan favorite like there was an episode where he was about to quit he's like the literal feeling that you were yep. in, he was yep. he was about to quit he's like man you know i don't want to waste your time because like i i just haven't been and and that was like <laughs> and then it just and then it just clicks because I, I think I think getting to that point isn't a bad thing too because I think it's like well you know if I'm gonna quit anyway fuck it let me at least try it this way and then you know yeah maybe that's something that that's maybe that's something that happened for him too because that's how I felt about it I was like bro if you're willing to quit you might as well just like calm down because like you know what I mean? you might as well just like do it how it should be done yeah like, and then guess what thing like people yeah people this is not rock it is very just do the things and it will work like it will it, it will work it is not like i just want to get away this mysticalness oh he's different they're both different um they don't understand me i'm like nah nah you're pretty normal like we're all are um let's follow the process bros and um, with that uh it's pretty one of my favorite podcasts yet it's been one of my favorite yet. I really love having these kind of conversations, um, bro. I love. I, I appreciate you having me. This was this is an awesome experience, without a doubt, dude. And I mean, if you're interested, if you're listening and you're interested, um, just hit me up. I, I again, it doesn't hurt to, and then say you know, hear me say no, like because I don't have the time, but like, cause it, I can't say whether or not I, I will. Um, because I don't know how life is going to pan out. I really enjoy doing them. So it's one of those things where it's like, okay, you know, if I had to do something with this hour, what would I want to do? So I enjoyed it on that regard. So just hit me up on Discord. Um, and and we may be able to work something out. Don't be afraid of losses and no's and whatnot. Because I was going to ask you that. I know we were about to wrap up. But, like, do you think at any point you're, you had a, like, an apprehension to finding the next game at a certain point or were you like afraid of the loss like or like you know what yeah, I mean? yeah yeah for sure for sure um that'll happen to a lot of scotty too actually like mm -hmm. um like you're oh i just got to 16 i don't want to go back down or i just got to whatever mm -hmm. you got to push push past that and realize that you know if you just play the way you've been playing and you stop thinking about that mm -hmm. um you'll be fine because now your now your focus is on maintaining um, yeah. Right. Yeah. Instead of instead of pushing uh, even higher up, so just disregard that. If you lose, figure out why. Don't make the same mistake again. Simple. Simple. So whole simple. It's so simple, y'all. But um, I'm sure you guys have had enough of us hearing the same. It's, it's weird when you're <laughs> like, <laughs> you ever heard like when you're growing up, you hear those like people saying like cliches. Um, yeah. Right. But then you you're you're trying to fathom a way to say it more articulate, but all that comes out is you can do it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that's the thing, bro. Like cliches are cliches for a reason. It's yep. because they're they're accurate. They're true. So. You just lose the zest after. So you want me to tell you some secret? I know there are people who like click this, hoping to hear the secret. You know, like <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the thing that that nah, man. There's a secret. Uh, and I think that's with everything. You want to lose weight? The the answer is literally simple. Like you, like you want to fucking get. You just do it. You do it. Yeah. And, you know, but don't worry, bro. Come pay me, and I'll give you the secrets. And 
<laughs> I mean, you kind of did, though. I mean, that's the thing. Okay, like, but 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 this. I mean, a lot of those videos are gonna be for free. Now, it's not gonna be the same as being in the call with me because I can tweak you like real time. But in real time, right? Yes, yes. Know. But yeah, uh, but yeah, we're gonna end it there. Thank you so much for taking the time out, bro. Like, I really do appreciate this because. Um, you know, I don't know how much longer I'll have on YouTube, to be honest. I'm, I was thinking about this morning. I'm like, man, I'm in a state of peace. Like, I did all the videos. Like, I gave everything I had. Not to say I'm leaving, but, but like, I'm in such a state of peace with regards to YouTube now that right. that I don't feel that, not, not compulsion. Again, I don't want people to think, oh, you're quitting jam. That, that's not what I mean. But prior to this, I knew I could not leave until I finished this. Like, I, there's just no way. But now I've finished well, it. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, you've helped a lot of people uh, for sure. But just not even me, like by extension, like I've been able to help people with the information that you and people like Christian have like, yeah. you know, bestowed upon me. And uh, the YouTube videos are definitely a part of that. And they're also entertaining. So, I mean, yeah. not, not, not to, you know, be like, you should. Oh, no, 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 no. Again, yeah. I, I don't want it to be misconstrued as if that's all I'm thinking like now I it's 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 just a weird feeling of completing something that right that like a year and a half ago I was thinking about it and like the moment happened it's like if you're whatever your thing is right now you're gonna hit number one eventually like it's coming right um there's just no way it won't and I think I think I can I beat the person that was number one yeah I'm sure it wasn't different like the dude who's number one right now probably isn't that great you probably know more than he does He's just more habituated than you, or he has a team that he's accustomed to. I don't know that for sure, but I've just known a lot of people who were number one, and I know them personally, and I know this guy is, like, a very average. Like, I could, <laughs> you know, like, we play right, 25 right, right, games. Right. You're losing 25. Like, he's not that good, um, which is the thing about the ladder. The ladder means something, but then there's a level beyond that when you get into tour play and stuff. Um, it's a different atmosphere for sure. Completely different. Because all those are ladder toppers. You're amongst people who tap the top the ladder, and even amongst them, a lot of them are not that great. So it's, but I get like when you're not there, it feels different. So it does. Until you it feels good. It feels like there's just so many layers, like levels above you that you couldn't even like conceive. But it's not really. Yeah. I mean, it's true, but it's it's not as big as, as you think yeah 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 you'd be surprised how much how much you could catch up in two weeks if you if you if you're not making if you're not doing like practicing bad habits that's what i do like i take away your bad habits so when you're practicing rather than fumbling around it's literally what's going to work so instead of again taking two years it's gonna take two weeks if you actually do it that is um but yeah yeah if you if you have somebody like you or you know somebody like Christian and you're also willing to put the work in you'll get there 100% 100% so yeah thanks for watching guys um, I mean listening <laughs> listening watching you're probably on YouTube too uh, and truly thank you for joining me Nick and for listening oh, no everybody problem. man this this like I don't know what my purpose in life fully is I, I have some idea um, that I'm working on IRL, but, and you know, some of you guys who will listen to the question and answer, like, know about that stuff, but it, it, it feels weird, like, having these conversations and hearing you, like, there's just, like, a, a peace and a good feeling that, like, you feel, like, afterwards, um, and it's just, it's just all positive, so whatever it's gonna be is gonna be having something to do with people. Uh, no shit, but you know, like I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like something that, like in a face-to-face -face kind of way, I think. Um, but yeah, peace, everybody. Uh, peace.